Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. I'm Morton LB0 Fox India. And welcome to my home and welcome to my yard on this beautiful summer day. We didn't really have spring this year. We went straight from winter to summer. Anyway, that's not the subject of today's video. I'm going to talk about using FD8 in the field without using a computer. Basically by using an Android tablet. And I've visited this subject before at one point. I'll link the video up here, down here somewhere. Uh, but that was a while ago. A lot of stuff has happened to the software. And I'm going to use a tablet. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm an iOS user. I use my iPhone, but I really want to experiment with Android and ham radio. So I figured why not get a cheap Android tablet and try some stuff out. Today we're going to do FT8 on it, but we're going to try other stuff too. Um, I haven't set up the station yet. I could have gone out and done a poda, but instead of doing a poda, I'm just going to show you here in my yard. So let's get the antenna set up first. And as you can see, everything is now set up. The IC706 Mark IIG connected to the Digirig over here. And I really didn't know that the Digirig was such a versatile device that you can use it with phones and tablets and whatever. It's actually a pretty amazing little thing. And today we're gonna to use it with this little tablet. It's a cheap tablet, it's a Lenovo M9 tablet. It's one of the cheapest tablets you can get, at least over here in Norway. So uh, with no further ado, let's get everything going and uh, and take a look at both what's happening on the tablet and uh, and me and we'll see if we can make uh, an FD8 QSL here. And what we're gonna do now is that we're gonna start up the correct app on the tablet and the app is FD8CN. And that app is not in the app store. You have to sideload it. I'm not going to explain how you do that. There are several videos on how to sideload FD8CN and you'll have to decide if it's worth the potential security risk or not. I use this tablet almost exclusively for ham radio apps, so for me it's worth it. Anyway, the first thing that pops up is to select the serial port and that is because this app is able to connect the radio through cat control. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, go into the settings here and take a look at my settings here. You have the usual uh, call sign, grid square, everything here. There's a sync time button, so we're gonna press that. And it syncs your time and um, everything is, is good there. Uh, you can also set your frequency here for the 706 Mark IIG, and as you can see here on the rig tab, there are a lot of rigs to choose by on this app. So chances of you finding your rig is actually pretty, pretty good. Oh, and there's actually a deer running by here right now. That says a little bit about where I live. Uh, nonetheless, back to, to the subject here. Um, besides that, not really much. Uh, there's one thing you gotta make sure though, you gotta push the volume from the tablet to the maximum, or at least I gotta do that. If you go into the decode tab here, you can see all the decoded signals with a waterfall to the left. But we're going to call actually and see if we can get a QSO going here. So you press the calling tab and then let it run for a cycle or two so you can find a 
relatively free spot on the waterfall. It's sometimes a little bit hard to see, but it looks like this spot here at 2042 is relatively free. Press the speaker icon up here so everything's active. And you can see down in the right corner that is a CQ LB0 FI Dual with Oscar 59. So in the next cycle here, it's gonna start. I'm gonna start transmitting. And whoosh. And we actually got some CQs here. The reason I ran away for a little while was because my SWR was high. And actually I actually thought I'd stop the transmission. I hadn't, so I filled around with my antenna with about 50 watts going into it. That's not a smart thing to do. Nonetheless, we're going through with a CQ or a, a QSO here with two Echo Zero Juliet Oscar Whiskey. And we've sent our RR73. And let's just see what happens now. I'm guessing he's sending his uh, 73s as well in this cycle. He did. And we're just going to press the pause button here and we're gonna turn off the transmission this time so there are a couple of things to point out here first of all make sure that your radio is not transmitting when you have a high SWR and you're fiddling with your antenna I managed to fix this it was just a loose connection on the radial net but still RF burns are no joke and um, radio and high SWRs are no joke either so just make sure that everything is correct and that's actually how easy it is and I just got to look down here because there are some steep stairs as you can as you probably could have seen and in, uh, in my mounting the antenna segment of this video nonetheless though uh, what I was gonna say is that that is how easy it is to make a, an FD8 QSO without a computer you'll need an Android device and you'll need some kind of way to interface it and don't worry you can interface this with Vox and a couple of sound cables to your radio so you don't need cat control in order to make it work but it gives you some freedom while out operating portable you don't really need to spend money or spend time to get a computer up and running and uh, all that you can use your phone or in my case a tablet to make it running for me this is gonna be a uh, an excellent addition to my portable kit. Don't know about you guys, but I'm gonna really like this. What do you think? Are you using some kind of phone or tablet way to run Digimodes in the field? What are you using? Let me know down in the comments. While you're at it, click that like button. And there are also a couple more ways to support the channel if you'd so like. And I guess that's it for now. Until next time, my friends, 7-3.